Her most recent op-ed in Newsweek, titled, I worked for Democrats for years, billionaires have unfettered influence. Mm -hmm. Former Democratic campaign fundraiser Evan Barker joins me now, along with mentor and friend of show and mega donor himself, John Morgan, okay? Spent years uh, working with candidates, mostly Democrats, but he works where his interests lie. Thank you both. Um, Evan, why are you biting on my material, Evan? Why are you <laughs> one-upping me? Why, why, why you gotta, you couldn't just let me have a little bit of space, right? Couldn't let me get one thing right. No, tell people what the reality is from someone who worked in it. Yeah, I just wanna say this is amazing to be here. It really feels like it's a journey that's coming full circle. Um, you know, you were a big inspiration behind the viral TikTok video that I posted. Um, as you've already stated, I've worked in democratic politics a long time mostly for U.S. Senate and House candidates doing fundraising for them. And, you know, for the last couple of years, I've started to become disillusioned with the party. Obviously, it doesn't help when you are working in the fundraising part of campaigns. Mm -hmm. And I went to the DNC hoping to feel re-inspired. I really, really did. And instead, while I was there, I felt sad because I saw a candidate that was picked, not by the people, but by the donors, and everyone just seemed to be happily going along with it. And yes, I did go up to those suites, it was a part of my volunteer job, and I was mind blown to see the, the corporate suites, the corporate media suites, and the corporations, and the donor suites just all next to each other. You know, when you see that reality in person, it really spells it all out for you. Mm. You know, uh, Brother Morgan, what Evan is pointing to is why people sometimes refer to the uniparty. That at the end of the day, yeah, you got the Democrats, you got the Republicans, they fight with each other, but at the end of the day, it's all about the money and they're hitting the same pockets. Did you live that as a reality yourself? Yeah, I did. But look, here, here's the bottom line. At the end of the day, we can point fingers at people, but we really need to point fingers at Citizens United. When Citizens mm -hmm. United became the law of the land, that means there was unfettered access and in unlimited money. It seemed that it was going to benefit the Republicans. I don't think, I think if Democrats could roll back Citizens United, they still would. But here's the deal, Chris. Mm -hmm. If you're going to play the game and somebody gets to have five players, are you going to play with three when you can play with five? I don't think so. So I believe that Citizens United has forced this situation, and now it's not just bundlers. I was very, I was a big shot because I was a bundler. A bundler is not a big shot anymore. A bundler is a little shot, and so that's just the reality of where we live today. Hey, John, quick while I have you, you think Harris wins? I thought she was going to win, but I'll tell you, I'm a little bit worried. Uh, I think it's getting close, but she's had a great advantage. Look, she didn't. She she never had to run. She never had to take a position. She didn't take many votes, which is great because there's no record. And that's why she's been so slow to do interviews, because if you're winning, why risk it? I think she still will but it's, it's going to be very, very iffy. It's all going to come down to Pennsylvania. If she loses, what I believe, they're going to say she should have picked Josh Shapiro. But on the mm. other hand, she's already having trouble with Michigan, and Josh would have been a big problem with her in Michigan. So she had a dream deal. Look, Chris, at the end of the day, this election is going to be this. 75% of all Americans will be voting holding their nose. It's not who we're yeah. for. The most is who we hate the least. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.